Hello YouTube and welcome to Dear Esther. I think it's it's not Ether because there's an S unless the S is sign, in which case it's pronounced Ether. But I think it's like S Esther S Esther. I don't care. Let's see. Oh, the lighthouse, the the buoy, the caves, the beacon. Well, I guess we gotta do the lighthouse. Yes, play that chapter. I've never played this game, and I don't even know what this game's about, actually. I've never seen anyone play this game, either. See, all the other ones, I've seen people play them, or I have remotely played them. Well, the other two. Or I could as easily assume what it is. This one... I, 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 I don't know. Dear Esther, oh. I sometimes feel as if I've given birth to this island. Um, Somewhere between the longitude and latitude, oh, oh, hello. a split opened up, and it beached remotely here. No matter how hard I correlate, mm -hmm. it remains a singularity. Can I go in the water? An alpha point in my life that refuses all hypothesis. I return each time, leaving fresh markers that I hope, in the full glare of my hopelessness, will have blossomed into fresh insight. What in the, the hell? Down we go. Whoop. What the hell? What the heck? What the f This is a weird little game. Lighthouse. Um let's take a look. Whoop. Guess I got a flashlight. Lighting engine seems pretty nice, I guess. Ew. Someone needs to clean that toilet. Hmm. This game's kind of weird. I don't know what to think of it yet. It, 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 I mean, there's no gameplay as of yet. Oh, is lift clicking makes me run, or is that like a zoom? Yeah, it's like a zoom. Oh, we can't go up the lighthouse. That's lame. I wanted to go up to the top. A game like... What is that? H-O-H-C... Chemical formula for something, I guess. Weird. No runny button? Is it all walking? Ugh, this is gonna be one of those long days, isn't it? Right back outside. Um, check out this one. Here's some of that glowy paint again. Hmm. Nothing in here, really. Or maybe it's all glowy paint and those are just open. What's it say on the paint, anyways? Uh, luminous paint. Huh, luminous paint. That's like a staple of Scooby-Doo, wasn't it? Wind. Like in Scooby-Doo, they always had luminous paint and stuff. Hmm, up or down? Well, I've always been much for the low road. So, let's walk down right along the shore here and take a look around, shall we? It's, it's nice. It looks nice, at least. Nothing particularly bad has happened. So, I mean, it's not like it's scary, I guess. I, I really don't know what to think of this game. Ooh, there's a beach. Now, let's get to the beach. Wish I could run or jump or do anything except this. Some kind of weird zoom, I guess, is to examine things. Like, oh, let's examine that rock. Oh, let's examine that bush that's horribly put on there. Really footprints? No. Do I even have feet? Doesn't look like it. Ooh. We're on the beach. I'm assuming maybe we're trying to go to that blinky thing. Let's take a walk in the water. Ah. Relaxing. So if I go out into the water, I don't just die. It does some kind of dramatic come back. And then I respawn if I don't pop out of the water myself. These look like lobster traps or something. This looks like it's turning into a dead end unless there's a cave over there. Oh yeah, there's like a path through the rocks. Okay. So far, I don't have much to say. Oh, hey look, if you went the high road, it leads right here. Those islands in what? the distance, I'm sure, are nothing more than relics of another time. Uh -huh. Sleeping giants, somnambulist gods laid down for a final dreaming. Uh huh. I wash the sand from my lips and grip my wrist ever more tightly. My shaking arms will not support my fading diaries. 
Oh, okay. Am I playing as the guy narrating, or am I playing as Ether? As, as, I didn't even listen to how he said it. I don't even know. Hmm. I don't really have much to say. I mean, Capsized and Thief were both kind of action-y slash stealth. I mean, Thief was like an action stealth game, and then this is... You know, Capsized was like an action platforming game, and this is just... Oh, let's do the zoomy thing. What is it? It's got like a... I don't even know what that is. Ugh, oh, this game is... I'm not sure what this game is at this point. It's atmospheric, I suppose. I guess. I don't know what kind of atmosphere they're trying to get across. It's a tad boring, I'll be honest, but... Yes. Uh, I found myself to be as featureless as this ocean, as shallow and unoccupied as this bay, mm. a listless wreck without identification. Well, that's not my fault. My rocks are these bones, and a careful fence to keep the precipice at bay. Uh huh. Shot through me caves. My forehead a mount. This aerial will transmit into me so. Uh huh. All overexposed, the nervous system. Right, right. Where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still trample. I say, I say. I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that carry me under. Uh, okay. That was kind of weird. Going that way, up into this area. I don't know where I'm going. A car door. Interesting. That... What is that? Car, like the thing for the car wheels to go on, or is it like kind of dead ends here? But there's another car door. I'm gonna assume these are like the the axles for the car, right? Where you put the car wheels on them. It's kind of a dead end, though. Um, this way, like up, up, maybe around the shore here. Swimming. <laughs> um. That way. Ugh. So I can keep my head above water if I don't look. Though if I keep moving, I can stay my head above water. Huh. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Ugh, it's okay. I don't know what's going on, but it's dead. It ended. So and I don't want to have to walk. Oh crap! Go back. Back step. Go back. 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 Whoa. Okay. Can't go out there. Well, where am I going then? Can I get up here? Ah, I can't get up here. It's nothing. <sighs> okay. I have a suspicion I was supposed to go the high road. Or the high road leads us out of here because there's nothing here. Ugh. Could I? Could they have at least given me a sprint button? I know, but probably a reason they didn't give you a sprint, a freaking sprint button. Oh, hold on. I didn't. I didn't see. There's like a marking here. I don't know why there's luminous paint f all over the walls. There's seriously nothing here. Ow, my ear. Hold on. Ah, my ear itched. Sorry. Uh. Okay. Guess not. That's kind of weird. There's just like a like a car has disintegrated into that corner there. Well, I guess we gotta walk all the way back and go up the high road and see if there's something different. Oh my god. This game is on s shallow footing right now. I mean, it looks nice, like, oh, for, you know, it, it's not the best graphics, but I'm sure when this is like independent, I think. It's like an indie game or something. And honestly, you know, obviously... The game is apparently not action or anything. It's probably just a... You walk around and look at f stuff that's supposed to look nice, and the guy narrates to you. That's probably all this game is. Unfortunately, that's not a game I'm a particular big... See, I'm okay with games that are kind of like this, you know, with atmospheric stuff, but I do like it when the game then switches to an action-y bit where you actually have to do something or, like, solve puzzles. But, I mean, this literally feels like it's going to be just a walk very slowly everywhere 
kind of a game, and if it didn't make you walk this slow and you could sprint, like, the game would just be over in, like, a femtosecond. Like, a few minutes, like, it'd be, like, a minute, and then the game would be over, right? I mean, it looks nice, I suppose, but, I mean, honestly, you know, the graphics aren't, like, amazing, but this game came out a little while ago, so I'm not going to complain. Oh, I see. If I want the other high road, it would stop there, and I'd probably get dead-ended and then f have to, like, go down there. But if I went down this one, it goes up here. Okay. Because that looks like it's probably the other high road I could have taken. That's this. Uh, I don't know what to say. But then again, if I hadn't gone down there, it probably wouldn't have given me that, that remark. And it should have Reading wait. Reading by the weak afternoon sunlight. Mm -hmm. He landed on the south side of the island followed the path to the bay and climbed the mount. Mm. He did not find the caves, and he did not chart the north side. Yeah. I think this is why his understanding of the island is flawed, incomplete. Oh, really? He stood on the mount and only wondered momentarily how to descend. But then, he didn't have my reasons. Right. Don't know what any of that means, but okay. That's like a telephone thing up there, or a communication tower. Oh my god, maybe I'm on the island from Tomb Raider. Because they had a big uh, t thing like when that. When someone had died mm. or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice. Right. They cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. Mm hmm You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid, or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. Mm-hmm. My lines are just for this keep any would-be rescuers at bay. Ah. <laughs> oh. Action is not simply of the flesh. Is this a cho it is a choice. Well, we went left the first time going down the slope, so let's go right. Which apparently is the down slope anyways. Hmm. I quote directly. A motley lot with little to recommend them. Mm -hmm. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Uh -huh. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, oh God. By God, seems to find its very apex. Oh, Jesus, this is kind of boring. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself mm -hmm. in that, I wonder? Okay, I'm about to cut this off b at this point, because literally all I'm doing is walking around while there's text read. There's nothing even to review here. Oh, there's a ship. Ooh, there's a ship. I bet we're not going to the ship. We're probably going into the caves over there. I wonder if I can go to that ship, because I can swim slightly. Dear Esther. Hmm? Esther, okay. I made my own little pilgrimage. Hmm. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. Oh, it locked me out. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although uh -huh. he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, mm -hmm. he still spiraled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Right. See if we can get there. See if we can get over to this ship. Is that the that's the back of the where we started, I think, over there. Nope. Nope. Ah. Okay, I don't think we're allowed to go that far. I guess we're supposed to go this way. Ugh. Uh, not even any excitement. And the problem with testing this stuff is that it takes 50 years to get back to shore after I do something stupid like this. Oh, well, there's a dark, creepy cave. Maybe we'll get eaten by a cougar or something. And why there'd be a cougar on this island, I don't know. Maybe there'll be a walking shark. Sharkzilla. Yeah. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Mega shark will be in there. I don't know what am I talking about? You idiot. Alright, let's keep walking. I threw my arms wide, oh. and the cliff opened out before me, oh. in this rough home. I transferred my belongings from the bothy on the mount, and tried to live here instead. It was cold at night, 
and the sea lapped at the paint. entrance at high tide. Oh. I, to climb the peak, mm -hmm. I must first venture even deeper into the veins of the oh. island, where the signals are blocked altogether. Only then will I understand them, when I stand on the summit and they mm -hmm. flow into me, uncorrupted. Right. So is this, this is all luminous paint, like he's been drawing this crap. Yeah, see so there's a it's a thing there. He's, he brought all this luminous paint and he stayed here. You can see this little sleeping bag. Oh, look at that. Hmm. What's this? Oh, these are like clothes. This is the fish. This is probably his Yeah, that bread looks tasty. This must have been where he was, staying in here. Go back outside. Oh, I, maybe this is how we get to the ship. What? Um. See, the problem with games like this is when they're so slow and boring like this for so long, then something kind of loud happens, and it scares the shite out of you. That's just how it is. Now oh, the music started up. Oh, never mind, the ship's over there. Darn. I don't even know where we're going. Wait a minute. You son of a... Oh my god, this game, I swear. Look, we walked in there, walked into that cave, walked out of the cave, the same entrance, and naturally walked up this path. Oh. I... I... <laughs> this game is really boring. That water looks rather nice, though. This game is very boring, I'm sorry. I'm gonna cut this off in a few minutes here, but... It's boring, but it's got that minute addiction that you just kind of want to keep going. I think that's a choice. I can go... You know, I don't want to walk in the puddles. So let's stay on this side. I could probably walk through the river there. Yeah, let's keep going. That's not a choice. Never mind. It keeps breaking all over the place. I've become convinced yep. I'm not alone here. Oh, yeah. Even though I'm equally sure it is simply a delusion. Oh, yeah? By circumstance. I do not, for instance, remember where I found the candle, or why I took it upon myself to light such a strange pathway. Right. Perhaps it is only for those who are bound to follow. Yeah. I, I, I honestly don't know what's going on at this point. This is the kind of game you play when you're really sick, you're really tired, and you just want to sit there and listen to someone talk. But there's not even enough talking, like there's so much walking, like my finger's starting to hurt from pressing the W key for so long. Uh, what is this, Stonehenge? Yeah, I wish. Oh, look. Can't interact with the stupid thing, it's just there. Uh, okay. No text for this? Oh, come on, you would totally have given that text, right? I would have been like, oh, the weird stones with the Bible on the floor. Ugh, I don't know. Oh my god, this is so boring. <laughs> uh... This is, this, this, this is, oh god, I'm falling asleep. This is running at 60 frames a second, nice and smooth. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Just keep walking. Oh, dark and ominous. Although I would admit, I would actually walk around in real life like this more often. This looks painful. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? A load screen. After all that, we finally came across, like, a flippin' load screen? Jesus criminy. Oh, God. Dear oh, dear God. I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. Uh-huh. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. Uh-huh. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and mm -hmm. the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rear-view mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. What? Okay, I'm gonna leave you here. Stare off that way, if you will. I'm totally done with this game. It is very boring. It is intriguing, I will give you that, just because I am one of those kind of a kapluttons for stories, and once I start a story in a game, I do kind of like to know what the hell is going on. But this isn't video material anymore because this literally would just be me casually walking around listening to a YouTube video or something 
to the side on my TV while I am walking around waiting for something to happen and then I pause the video and listen and then I keep walking but this is not video material like I mean just look at the screen this could be a desktop image seriously I, I'm sure this didn't even make it a desktop you could just make this your desktop background and it would make just as much sense music's nice though I'll give it that the decent music and the narration he's pretty good but it it's not really a game that I want to come back to not a game I would probably keep playing Maybe I'd come back and just listen to the story, but it wouldn't really... It's not fun, okay? It's not fun. I would come back just to listen because I'm curious. But it's not a fun game. So this is going to be the first fail for pass or fail. And it's not a fail as in it's terribly horrible, bad, bad. It's just boring, okay? It's interesting, but it's real boring. You can't move faster, and you know why. Because the game is programmed so that when the text starts, you can't outrun it. Once the text starts, there is no way for you to move fast enough to get to a new text location in order to overlap the text and cut it off. That's why they don't have a sprint. You, you know it. That's why. Because if you could run really fast, you could just run all over the place and cut to have all the text starting up weird, and it would mess up the game. So you know that's why they don't have it that way. But anyway, so this is a fail. Probably won't come back to this in any videos, but um, yeah, so... Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, whatever it is you guys do. Comment, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, so just thanks for watching. I'm sorry this video was really boring. <sighs> well, update video tomorrow on Monday and or a little later in the week, depending on how that goes. So, yeah, bye, guys.